At 70, one of the things that, that I don't know why I keep doing it, but I keep falling in love. What I have learned at 70 is that it doesn't matter if nobody loves you back. In fact, I can put it another way, it's probably better that nobody loves you back because everybody's married. And so somebody, <laughs> everybody my age is married. So you fall in love, you know, and then the wives get upset. You know, and, well, yeah, you probably don't want to fall in love with a married person, I suppose. Well, you have to. I mean, who else is out there? <laughs> so, a, well, yeah, I guess yeah. That's, a, that's a good point. And that's what Still Life with Apron, that's what that was all about. Uh, I would like to see you cooking for me. And I, I would. I, I, he's, a, he's a very nice man. Actually, his wife probably owes me for many a wonderful evening with him because I, I just, he's adorable. And uh, I don't think she had told him that lately. And, you know, now he's got an old lady staring at that in the middle of his body. So, you know, there's, a, there's an upside to that. Do you, I mean, do you feel the expectation of there is a certain way you're supposed to be or that people, you know, that when you say, you know, I'm a 70 year old woman now, how does that feel and how do people want you to be? They try, I mean, people are trying to bracket you your whole life, right? Yeah, well, they do, yeah. So what is it now? I mean, how, how do you kind of pivot that now? Like, I don't think I've paid much attention to what people had to say about me. And uh, I've been lucky with that. But I like being 70 because, and I do talk about it, because we in, Amer in America, we don't like old age. And we always treat it as if somehow something is wrong with you. And I think that it's a good idea to grow old. I mean, we're all, you're born with an expiration date. You know, just like the milk you buy or the, you know, olive oil you have, or, you know, the wine you drink, everything has an expiration date. And so nobody needs to push it, nobody needs to make you do it, and you don't need to do it. One day you won't be here. So the time that, that you are here should be, I think, ethical. I think it should be, I think ethical makes you a good person and it makes you a giving person. And I think smiles are important. I think it's important to laugh. And I'm, I think on that level, I'm very uh, fortunate to be a black American because people talk about us as, as if we were children or something. But we have learned that laughter, as re Reader's Digest said, laughter is the best medicine. And if you can find a way to laugh at some of these situations, you will survive it and you will have yourself.